Hey guys, Derek Harris here, HP Race Development. Behind me, that's a 2021 YZ250F. And we got an awesome video coming at you today because we're going to be testing how it runs on the dyno stock and baseline. We've got all the maps that you can throw in it through your phone. We've got the Kiefer map, the MXA map, the free revving, the more hit. We're going to throw all that at you in the dyno today. And then we're also going to be checking out what we think the impression overall of the bike is from its owner. This owner represents... This is his first real big big bike, and uh, he's just kind of figuring his way out in the sport. His name's Josh. He's an awesome guy. So we're going to see what he thinks of the bike. He's also gotten to ride a bunch of other bikes, so maybe he can give you some feedback as to you know why he likes his bike and what he's got going on. So let's check this thing out. Josh, Derek Harris here. We're going to be talking to him about his 21 YZ250F. The thing is immaculate. Look at that thing. It's spotless, brand new. So talk to you about the bike, man. How'd you get it? Um, I just got the bike recently. Uh, I got into motocross about six, seven months ago. Uh, I was looking for, I rode a couple bikes and I decided the Yamaha 250 because the uh, bottom end power. Now you got to ride a couple things. What did you ride before this uh, Yamaha? Uh, I've rode KTM's, I've rode uh, a Kawasaki, I've rode a Honda, and I, I've rode a Husky. Those okay. Are the bikes that I've rode so far. Nice. Um, what did you, what did you think of all the other bikes? Like, what was the KTM like and the Husky like for you? The KTM and Husky, they were they were fun bikes to ride, but I felt like I had to work a lot harder, like taking more speed in the corners. So. As a newer person, it was a little bit easier to ride the YZ. Right. Um, did you ride the Cowie? I think you did, right? Uh, I only rode the Cowie once. Okay. What'd you think of the Cowie? Uh, it was nice. I mean, it was a. It was obviously different from what I was used to. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Awesome. You've gotten to try a couple different maps on the bike through your phone. How do you like that uh, smartphone tuning app? It's super easy to use. Uh, the YouTube videos that you find out on the internet, they're they're easy to follow. Um, the the it's really plug and play. It's very simple. Super easy. And you've gotten to try what maps have you ridden with? Uh, the one I've rode with the most is the Kiefer Free Fill. Okay. Did you notice a difference when you put it in? Um, yeah. It it took a little bit out of the the bottom end and it made it uh not so torquey. Okay. That's the big thing. Kind of felt like you were kind of jerking around out there initially yeah, initially yeah yeah cause you ride some of the really tacky tracks around here and it's like if it's too responsive it's just cha yeah, challenging yeah, the, the front end was trying to pick up really easy and right me being new wasn't the best right on awesome well all right so this thing in the dyno today let's see what she does this is uh completing our series of all of the new motorcycles baseline the board oh wow what do you know also very good results grab that real quick check that out so uh, that was uh, the latest run in blue which is all stock zeros and then you have the uh, MXA map in green a little bit worse and then you have the keeper map which would have been test 12 keeper map in um, green here so it changed colors and it's pretty similar all really similar guys I mean the maps aren't making a big difference in power as you can see but uh, actually so far the best peak horsepower has been on all zeros so we're gonna do another test let's check some other stuff out all right we're gonna try this uh, smooth linear map from Yamaha they've taken ignition out of the bike quite a bit and they've added fuel anytime you do those two things to a map that's already close typically it feels slower and it makes less power especially with this ignition change 
So we're going to test that map out and see if we get a big power change because they're pulling out so much timing. Let's check that out. Smooth linear test. And chart of all of our 250Fs in our next video. Let's get to the data of all the other charts we tested. We did a heck of a lot of testing and let's go take a look at all the differences we found. On the smooth linear map first stock, we clearly lost some power. While the difference is not very big, is it, it is enough to be noticeable and certainly will make a big difference on the track. 
here we have the MXA free feeling map versus the stock map. Really was almost no difference between these two, although the MXA map seemed to pick up a little bit at the very, very top. For Kiefer free feeling map versus the stock map. As you see here, the Dino really liked the stock map from a power perspective a little bit better than the Kiefer free feeling. Here we have the MXA standard map versus the stock map. This MXA map just lost everywhere in a peak horse power standpoint. One of the things to note is when you lose power, especially up top, it's going to make it feel like the bike revs further because it gets to the rev limiter slower. Congratulations! You almost made it to the end of this video. Before we show you how this YZ250F stacks up versus the Husqvarna, I need you to hit that like button and subscribe. Now, let's take a look at how strong this Yamaha really is for 2021 and 2022. This Yamaha is a monster. It kicked the Husqvarna's ass, as you can see. We've been using this Husqvarna as a point of reference for all of our bikes in this testing series. And as you can tell, this Yamaha is strong. Thanks for watching.